in a normal airplane, you'd have push rods and cables. Digital fly-by-wire just means that your uh, command signals to an airplane is an electrical signal that goes to an actuator. There was no manual stick. You had to let the computer do all the process for you. Control the hydraulics. Turned on engines, turned off cutoffs. It was all very cutting edge. The go-to place for the hardest problems was the MIT Instrumentation Lab led by Draper. The digital fly-by-wire was a new concept at the time. If the astronaut wanted to command the spacecraft to go somewhere, his command with a stick went to the computer, not to any surface or rocket or reaction jet. And then the computer processed it and sent it to wherever it should go. In order to make their target of landing on the moon and to be able to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere, it had to be very precise. If they came in too steep, they would generate too much heat, and they probably wouldn't survive the re-entry. It was a triplex flight computer, and they were challenging him as to why would a human or how would a human trust their lives to a digital flight computer? How could you trust a computer to keep you flying safely? Uh, Neil Armstrong said, wow, I just went to the moon on one. People for 25 years on airplanes were saying, can we use fly-by-wire? Isn't that too dangerous? Well, fly-by-wire is how we got to the moon and back. There was no manual stick. You had to you'd let the computer do all the process for you. Neil Armstrong was convinced that the computer was uh, accurate enough that uh, it would work, and he was correct. So Draper was brought in, and because of Apollo, Draper was able to build the first aircraft fly-by-wire system, which now is in every fighter aircraft and every commercial aircraft. No, there isn't a plane of any size that doesn't have a system like that so that the aircraft pretty much can fly themselves. It was a breakthrough in all of computing for what was going on, both the hardware and the software. All of today's commercial aircraft benefit from Apollo. All of today's commercial aircraft, the ones you fly in to go on vacation, things like that, all fly digital control systems. And that had its birth in Apollo. 